アマテラス Alright, here's everything we know so far with the trailer and the new demo of Naruto Storm 4 Road to Baruto. Firstly, I want to go on and just say new combos. Yes, we have seen Baruto from the trailer and Sasuke from the demo with new movesets, new jutsus, and new ultimate. Now, I'm not entirely for sure that Baruto have either one of them, either the ultimate or the special attack, because the showcase showed one of them and it could be one and another. Like when he did his new Rasengan towards Naruto, I actually had to guess that could be just a new special attack. So if it is, then I can't tell you if he has a new ultimate or not. But, anyways, with that showing, there will be more updated movesets probably. There could be possibly be more with other characters like. Sarada and Naruto Hokage, and hopefully, even more for all we know. I mean, come on, as for Naruto, his awakening made him turn back five years younger for Fox 6. So, hopefully, when he awakens again in his Naruto Hokage outfit, he would actually have the cape and everything, etc. And ho hopefully, probably a new moveset too. The next is the Naruto and Sasuke as characters. Notice if you pay attention to their voices, it's a bit more deeper and matured. In Storm 4, I presume the Naruto and Sasuke from the last and the Baruto model, they still have their same old Shippuden teenage voice. The next is also the character versus art. s It's different from Sasuke, so it could be for others too, like again, like I mentioned earlier Baruto, Sarada,、uh, Naruto, and maybe either more. Anyways, I know that doesn't seem like much of an important thing to know, but me personally, I kind of like to always update the character model art. s The other is the Adventure Tale. Now, we all know this from earlier with the screenshots, but yet we still don't know for sure, quite for sure, whether if this is gonna be like story mode, like how it was with all the Storm games where it's actually mandatory to be walking around in order to do missions, or is this a complete separate Adventure Pack mode? Which I hope that's not it. Shit. And last but not least, we can already confirm the two new stages, which is the new Konoha Village. And that snowy palace. Let's hope it's no goddamn stage lock content where you only play it in the story mode only. For more info, as in how many more characters, costumes, stages, movesets, and more, we just may have to wait as the time goes by when we get to February. Think of it like how your YouTubers will always give you news updates throughout the pre releases in Storm 3, Revolution, Storm 4, etc. But this is all for just a big. And I mean big expansion pack DLC instead of a new game. Roll to Baruto will drop in February 2nd, 2016 in Japan, February 3rd, 2017 in Europe, and February 7th. Fuck! Well, that's all the newest things I've seen so far from this. If there's anything else new that I missed out, let me know in the comments. Next up from Tokyo Game Show, I presume there's gonna be another Xenoverse 2 gameplay, Xenoverse 2 trailer. So I don't think it's gonna be up today, but let's hope by later on this weekend, because I would sure like to do a live reaction speculation for that. If we can at least get like 10 likes or whatever the fuck, I'll do the same thing like I did for Storm 4 today, but in Xenoverse 2. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, and if you're new, feel free to subscribe. This is Gil Sensu, and as again, I'll see you guys next time. Damn,